Welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. I would like to dedicate this to Anthony Rizzo, who I didn't say it out loud, So, but for sound check before he came on, I was, Rizzo's going to hit a home run, and he did. But I didn't say it out loud, so I think it should still count because I was th- I was thinking it. I was thinking he was going to hit a home run, and he did. Oh, yeah. So thank you, Rizzo. I dedicate this to you. Well, Gene, I was thinking about the winning lottery numbers. <laughs> I just yeah, did not this, uh, this, go and buy a ticket. You have to believe me. I really, I, that, no, I'm all in. That was me. Yep, me and Rizzo. We got a yeah, bond. I bet. All right. Well, uh, it's good to see some uh, Rizzo having some breaks, uh, break, yeah. break his way, because so, he definitely needs it. I want the Cubs to be good. I'm telling you, I, I it, just for me, I like it when they win. It, I do. I, it, may, I, it makes me feel better. Well, spoken like a true fan. Thank you. Uh, Gene. Uh, I mean, then I'm thinking, what's it going to be like when they, when they, one day when they're not good again? It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to go back to. I don't want to go back to that. <laughs> you don't want to go back to the '80s? No. Or the the mid '90s? I don't. The I don't mid-aughts? want them to be bad again because it's so fun when they're good. All right. Well, uh, Gene, maybe we should do the uh, the show instead okay. of uh, working on your uh, pathologies. <laughs> well, I'm uh, just saying. It, I mean, we've suffered long enough. It's nice when they're good. Why can't they just stay good for 20 years? Yeah. Why? Why can't they? Why can't sports teams right. just stay good for it? Why, why aren't the Bulls? Well, maybe they're the Patriots. Why, why weren't they good? Why, I, didn't, why didn't Jordan I, win uh, three more championships yeah. when he turned 50? By the way, I'm all in on the Bucks. I'm a Bucks right. fan. Well, now. we'll talk about that in a second, oh, okay. Gene, but uh, I do want to say the name of the show. It's why called, don't you it's do called that? the Midwest Sports all Show. All right. And uh, my name is Chris Stotts, and then uh, that's Gene Steichen, who's Hello. all in yes. on the uh, game in front of him on yeah, his phone. Yeah, you're watching. You got the birds, and I got the cups. Yep. So uh, we're giving this podcast one hundred percent. Absolutely, um, I dedicate this to Rizzo and yep. to my family and, and my uh, Gene, as you can tell. Oh, Happy Mother's Day, by the way. Is it? Is it this weekend? I think so. Is Mother's Day. I, I have think no idea. It's Sunday. All right. Well, it's, if it's not a hol- if it's not a bank holiday, I don't care. Okay. Uh, but welcome to the Midwest Sports Show, and uh, we are live. Speaking of the, about the Bucks, we're live. Oh, they're playing too. At, oh yeah, we're at Madison. We're, we're at Boston no, Garden. We're at the Boston Garden. But they don't call. It, what do they call it now? The f- it isn't like the TD Ameritrade yeah, TD, scam. Yeah, something crappy. TD uh, adjustable uh, mortgage. Why couldn't they have stayed? The Boston Garden was so iconic and cool. I I've never been there, but uh, don't you think the, they the, should have stayed? The bathrooms stayed? probably weren't working. Gene. Oh, they're legendary. That's probably uh, uh, yeah. That's probably the legendary. reason why. All right, so we are at the uh, the old Boston Garden. I don't know how they resurrected oh, this. Oh, that's the old this. one? Yeah, this is the old one. Oh, uh, nice. The Fleet Center, I guess it was called Yeah, at one the point. old battles with Magic and Larry Johnson. Uh, oh, boy, those are fun. That well, was uh, great that's watch. not going to happen. Uh, the the Bucks are playing uh, right. the the Celtics, the Celtics. Yeah. Uh, right now, we will uh, talk about the uh, the hoops in a minute. Right. Um, Gene, we're going to – we got two main subjects uh, this week. Well, also, I saw Shen Yun yesterday. What? That's a subject. I don't know. There's some Chinese – Oh, it's like, a, it's like a Chinese – uh, Yeah, they tour the – But they're banned. It, they, it's based on Chinese culture, but they're banned in China. Well, how do they uh, get visas to they, come over they, here? They're, they're based out in New York. Okay, so yeah. you're gonna get the real authentic uh, Chinese experience. I don't know. They go back four thousand years. It was really cool though to see. I mean, they're they're pretty popular. They tour all over the world, except for China. They can't go yeah. to their own country. That, that's like making uh, Avengers, but not letting it uh, come out oh. in China. You know, they're hey. missing a huge market right there. I saw Avengers. Fantastic. Love oh, it. Yeah. yeah. Did you see it? any dancing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Probably oh. a little bit. Yeah, a little uh, bit of dancing. Yeah. Hey, b- about the Bucks. That's why when I became a Bucks fan, I, I've always been kind of lost because I'm not super passionate about. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm kind of a Bulls fan. And then and then I was like, no, I'm a Bucks fan. I love Milwaukee. We used to go there all the time when we were kids, go to the Milwaukee Zoo. And I, I'm all in on the Bucks. Now I, now I feel like a, a Bucks fan. You made a, you're a fan for life. Well, Gene, do you have yeah. any Bucks gear? I, that's what I got to do. You're not, that's what I got to do. Uh, according to all these sports uh, organizations, you're not a real fan unless you uh, s- spend some dough yeah. on some licensed apparel. Well, I do have a Chicago Bulls six-time NBA champion uh, jacket. That you, so. that you made yourself? Yes, you, I did. You sold yourself? Very nice. Great. 
Oh, it's really why, cold. Why pay two? Why pay two hundred dollars for a fl- uh, oh, because, starter yeah. jacket? And Gene. then when you do it yourself, you're the only one that has one. Yeah, so it's even worth more. But then I, I haven't worn it more. because I'm not. I don't like the Bulls that much. I don't like what they're doing. So, but I love what. Yeah, the not Bucks a lot to. Uh, not a lot to cheer for the Bulls. Yeah, uh, recently. I'm going to well, be a Bucks fan until the Bulls get good again, and then I'll then I'll consider both sides of the fence. All right. Well, come on over. Because yeah. I'm, uh, I love I'm joining the Bucks uh, bandwagon as well. Because I don't are? watch, I don't watch the Bucks, but I will uh, root for them in. Uh, the I playoffs. watched them. I think they played this weekend sometime, didn't they? Yeah, they played sat- uh, Friday. Friday. Uh, did not watch a minute. Uh, they're playing now. Oh wow, the uh, Nationals oh. keep on uh, getting errors uh, off the middle. Wow. Bit. Oh yeah, both their teams. All right. So uh, Gene, we got two main big topics, okay, go and we're going to split uh, all the little news stories because they all fit in uh, one of two topics. Uh, Wisconsin. Odds oh. and ends, sports stories, and then Chicago. Chicago. Odds Love and it. ends, sports mm. story, uh, stories. And uh, we're also going to talk a little uh, little horses, uh, a little Kentucky Derby I talk. did watch that. I did. Uh, the Kentucky Derby, it's near Cincinnati, right? It's on the border? Yes. Louisville? Lexington. Yeah. So, no, in Louisville. No. I think it's Louisville. Louisville. Yes, yeah, Louisville. in Louisville. Yep. So we're going to count as that Midwest uh, this week. Yeah. And uh, we have quite a bit to talk about. And, Gene, we're going to start off with uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. It's a great state. A lot of Wisconsin I, stories. I heard someone was from there this week, but I don't remember where or how I met him. Hmm. But a good was story. He, was he a stand-up comedian? And you asked him about uh, his uh, al- alma mater? Yeah, someone someone was I – mean, I don't know if they're famous or not. <laughs> oh, I did yesterday at Chen Yun. I was it Shen Yun? Was yeah. Shen Yun from Wisconsin? It was at the Dolby Theater where the Oscars are, and it was sold out. And there's this guy and girl standing by me. I, I was standing outside the restroom. And the guy goes, hey, can you take our picture? He goes, oh, yeah, sure. I didn't even look at him. It was Lorenzo Lamas. You remember him? Oh, really? Yeah. And he was with this gal, and they were seemed very comfy. But when I was at Hall & Oates last summer, Lorenzo Lamas was right in, sitting right in front of me with a different girl. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I didn't tell well, this you, you weren't like, uh, is this Miss Lamas? Uh, no, no. Lama? He's had a lot of ex-Miss Lama, ex-Lamas. La La Lamai? He's, he's running had, around? He's had a lot of ex-Lamas. Well, Gene, Gene when you're uh, Zorbo, he was not get a lot of tail. Well, or was he Hercules or... Uh, Lexi, or was he the renegade? Or? He was the renegade. He yeah. was the guy on the motorcycle, like, right? As soon as I realized it was him, because I took a bunch of pictures, then I should have said something like, oh, renegade. And the girl he was with, she wasn't even alive when renegade was on the yeah, air. Yeah, probably. No. Uh, it was renegade, right? That's yes, the show it he was, was on? Wow. Yep. That's, that's a, that was well, on syndication. Well, he was also on Falcon's Crest for one of those nighttime soap operas. Okay. Kevin Zorbo was Hercules, right? He was Hercules, right? yeah, yes. Okay. Zorbo was not a uh, mythological god. Mm. I'm that's all his into that. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're sleeping on the Avengers. Okay. Um, all right. Well, Gene, uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to start with Wisconsin and uh, Hoops. The Bucks. they won game three. I'm uh, a Bucks fan. After getting trounced. Yeah. On, uh, was and it game Paul two? Pierce saying it's oh, no game one. They lost game oh, yeah. one. And that's when Paul Pierce said the series was over. Oh, yeah, Paul. Paul, uh, you're not welcome in Milwaukee. Ya- Giannis uh, had something other to say. I'm acting like I actually watched the game, uh, I, but he had a big game. I had the game three in the background. I don't ever watch. Very rarely I watch sports with the sound on, but it's on in the background. And, uh, but if the Cubs win, then I'll I'll, re, I'll watch the highlights and turn the sound on. Well, it's a tied game, fifty nine fifty nine right oh, it now, is. Oh, uh, okay. with eight They're minutes in Boston. Le- left in the third. So, yeah. uh, and then we may have an update here uh, shortly by the end of the show. Okay, I'm. Uh, let's go, Yana. Yeah, because right. uh, Boston they could win this stupid slam that the Boston Bruins or the, the, si- the City Slam, y- the quadruple no, like slam. The actual, they could win if the Red Sox. Well, they won Red Sox and the Patriots have won back to back. But and the yeah, and the Boston Bruins are still going. So all right, so uh, Milwaukee has to put a stop to that. Put Milwaukee, a stop to it. Milwaukee Giannis. seems like the Wisconsin seems like the only city that's uh, interested in uh, the only state interested in stopping the you know evils the, of Boston. the tyranny tyranny yeah. of uh, New England. So they need to suffer, don't they? Yeah, I think it's about time. Yeah, go back to their suffering with. ways. Uh, well, I, they live in Boston, so I think they're suffering enough. Oh, uh, there you have go. you been there? 
Uh, I have not. I don't think I've been in Boston. I'm going to no. go if the Cubs somehow make the World Series and uh, they play in Boston, I'm going to go. Okay. Yep. There you go. Set your clocks right now, folks. Well, I was going to go last year, but uh, there was a little snag called uh, losing the wild card game and also losing the last game of the season to the Brewers, which put us in the wild card game. Yep. Um, all right. So speaking about the Brewers, uh, the Brewers swept the Mets uh, this past weekend. Uh, so that was nice, including. Yeah, you beat Syndergaard? No, Syndergaard did not pitch oh, uh, this weekend. No, DeGrom did not pitch either. So wow. it was Vargas and then uh, uh, some other guys. I'm yeah. not quite sure. Oh, well, good for you. Uh, the, fr- the Saturday night game was an 18 inning. Oh, I saw that. 18 yeah. inning uh, right. marathon. Right. And I'll tell you what, Gene, you know, remember maybe a year or two ago when we were laughing at uh, putting a guy on second base? Yes. In extra innings? Well, mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, Gene. <laughs> I'm all for that right now. Well, the Cubs just played a 15 inning game uh, last week, so right, it does, it does, it wears you out, doesn't it? Yes, it, especially it, if you lose. It you seems watch. like it's so difficult. It seems like it's so difficult to get a guy across uh, in extra innings. Uh, it is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing, and uh, I know it's. And it's you just tough. blow up your bullpen, yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah, you got you got you got people, uh, you got outfielders pitching and all this stuff, and I, I don't think we want that. Eighteen, um, that's two games. We don't want uh, designated hitters, uh, not designated hitters, but pinch hitters uh, who are really pitchers. Do we do we want to see that? I uh, no, we don't. Pinch hitter pitchers, I don't think so. No, we don't. Um, oh. So, yeah, I think they do need to put a guy on second base. I mean, it may be after the 12th inning. Give him three innings to try to wow. score a uh, normal way, but uh, let's put what a guy. What about just having ties after 12, you know? Yeah, I mean, let's – let's because yeah. all of a sudden then you got 50 wins and yeah, 20 ties and all that stuff. So uh, it's a little too much. Oh, by the way, odds and ends, uh, I, I, I've I uh, jumped on the ba- Jeopardy bandwagon as well to watch this, this gambler. Okay. Yeah. The gambles. He's off for two weeks, so they're doing teachers, something with the teachers. Okay. But uh, have you seen him? Maybe he's teaching them that new math. He's he's won. It's like he's that a, math He's is a on. professional gambler. He's won 21 or 22 straight games. He's yeah. already won like one point. Right. And then, uh, well, Jim, oh, okay. talk about the Brewers here, James. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, oh, for, the, thanks for the input. <laughs> All right. And then uh, I didn't I didn't see any of the brewer the Cubs. I was well, all in on the Cubs. Gene Cardinals. Ryan Braun, how's he doing? Had the walk off hit oh, in that did? eighteen inning game. He had six hits for that game. He, wow, he was killing it. Oh, I didn't know that. He was uh, doing pretty well. And uh, yeah, they did sweep the Mets. They beat them on Sunday as well. And uh, my brother and my sister in law and my niece were actually at the game. Oh, your two year old niece. Uh, old she's gonna be three in May. Well, okay. I guess it is May. In about ten days, she's oh, gonna be that's very three. Cool. And uh, she got a good age. She got to run the bases. She did. Yeah, she got to run the bases. And uh, they don't <laughs> they don't let the parents kind of run the bases with the kids. Oh, so this little uh, little three year old, yeah, is running the bases. <laughs> but uh, she was my brother sent me some pictures, and uh, she was unfaced. Wow. So she's a tough little girl. So uh, good for her. So hopefully she's gonna. Wow. Um, yeah. So hopefully she'll be a lifelong uh, baseball fan. <clears throat> yeah, after that's that really, that's that's how you that's how you build relationships with the kids. You let them run the bases, or you let them do stuff like yep. that. That's, and then just a little gesture like that. I remember when I sat on Ernie Banks' lap. I believe. And what? Okay, I was very young. But well, you, this, you is this remember? a true story? You actually sat in a Ruby Banks' lap? I don't know if I said. I well, got you a, sure this wasn't Santa? Him yeah. and Fergie Jenkins came to Dubuque. They used to do the autograph shows, and they, they'd travel around. But I I got an autograph from him and Fergie. I think I sat on their lap. Is there a picture? Is there evidence yeah, of this? Yeah, there was. I did have a picture with uh, either one of I used to have it on my door, but I don't know what happened to that. <laughs> I, Obviously, it was a big. What well, you I'm mean, not, like your kid room yeah. door? Yeah. Uh, do, do you, does your mom still live in the house you grew up in? No, we sold it. We yeah. built that house, and I think my dad sold it. Oh, he got ripped off. He <laughs> sold it for forty five thousand dollars, and now built it's it? worth. We built it. Yeah, when we moved in, not we did, but I don't know. My dad. Oh, it was me. like it's not like he built it with his own hands. He paid well, for it to get built. Or I something? think he paid someone in beer, <laughs> and right. then. Uh, yeah, then they sold it for forty five. Now it's worth probably two hundred thousand, oh, I think. Well, yeah, but they probably sold it in the eighties, though, right? I'm assuming. Oh yeah, yeah. yes. yes. Uh, yeah, if only they should have. Yeah, Gene, they should have waited thirty more years. <laughs> You're right. I don't know. Yeah. All bad, right. bad investors, right? Okay. Yeah, very bad. All right, and then uh, speaking about the Brewers, uh, one more, a couple of former Brewers players, Lewis Brinson, who was a oh hot my prospect. Gosh. 
This was, keeps getting worse for the Marlins. Who was a hot prospect uh, yeah. for the Brewers. He was traded to the Marlins wow. with, like, three other players for Christian Yelich. Well, he was the big, big item. Yeah, he was sent back to Triple A. And when you're playing, this week. when you can't make the Marlins, yeah, the Marlins Major League, that is rough. This ain't the 27 Yankees, Gene. Uh, this isn't even the 2003 Marlins. Yeah. They won the World Series, Did by they? the way, that year. Gary Sheffield, was he on that team? It could have been. That's when they beat the Cubs. Remember? Oh, and, yeah, um, yeah. Barman? Yeah. Uh, Barman could get a team on this. Uh, could, I don't a place like on this, to uh, mention Marlins. Mr. Bartman because uh, I don't want to. So this is just another example of, uh, I don't, you know, David fan. Stearns is not like a genius or anything because I remember seeing Lewis Brinson play when he played for the Brewers a couple of times. Not that impressive. So what I don't is, know. What is it? Derek Jeter? I mean, that was their first move, I think, getting rid of Yelich. Well, they got rid of Stanton and then Yelich, right? So, yeah, um, but I mean, Stan, you can understand. Yeah, like, what the hell? Well, they're just trying to unload payroll, I guess. So I'm trying to get yeah, a lot of young yeah, players. Yelich is, uh, they got, that's a great contract. Well, they didn't know Yelich was going to be the MVP. I don't, I don't well, think they would have done that if they were that. But. They're idiots. Uh, so uh, Brinson, um, Tyler Thurnberg, who got mm. traded to the Red Sox like three years ago for Travis Shaw. He's not been doing that great. I think he only pitched a couple of innings for the uh, – Red Sox, so uh, David Stern's really good at uh, selling good. high. I like him. Buying low. He's good. Like he's a good young decision. guy. Yes. The Brewers got a great GM, it looks like. Uh, the manager's really good. Uh, and their announcer's awesome. Brian Anderson. Yep. Although he's doing he's, NBA he's doing right basketball. Now. Yeah, we got, actually got the Badgers uh, announcer, play-by-play announcer. Oh, how's he? Uh, he's good. He's good. Yeah. I like him. And then the only thing wrong with the Brewers, well, two things. They re- they renamed their park, but that I guess that wasn't their fault. And then uh, Ryan Braun, I've, I've cast a spell on well, he's him. He's back. He's back, baby. But he six a- hits, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and 18 innings. All right, and then uh, also former Brewer, CC Sabathia. Oh, my gosh. Through his 3,000th. 3,000th. That's pretty 3, amazing. 3,000th? Yeah. Strikeout. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot of strikeouts, Gene. That's a lot of cheddar. Three strikeouts. He's only the third left-hander to go in there. Yeah. Uh, 3,000 strikeouts, Gene, uh, and that's about 10,000 crotch grabs. <laughs> Cr- crotch tugs. Wow. Yep. Good one. He's a, he definitely a Hall of Famer. Yeah, Someone was talking about John Lester, our Cub, and he's only got, like a, I think, 184 wins, so I, I yeah, was, wins I, is overrated. I, I know, but hopefully he'll keep going. But he's got he'll three World Series rings, right? Yes, absolutely. And he's and like, how many games has he won in the World he's Series? He's been great in the playoffs. Yeah, what's his yeah. ERA in the World Series playoffs? I think it won the lowest all time. Yeah, yeah, but this guy ain't Roger Clemens, though. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. he probably but I know. It. And then Kurt, Kurt Schilling, he's uh, maybe the best uh, big clutch pitcher, and he's not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, he... Uh, He's uh, political views. He I guess. pissed off the wrong people. Yep. All right. And then. Uh, oh, Joe Biden was in Dubuque, by the way. My hometown. Oh, yeah. your mom I go? believe. I don't think so. But was your, uh, mo- your mom was going for Hillary last year? Yes. What, what is she yes. doing? What is she doing? She uh, did. She did not fall in line. Yes, she did. Vote what for what is uh, what's her uh, prognosis? Prog- uh, prognosis? I, I don't for know. This year? I, I think that I. Oof, that was a wicked mm, curveball. I don't know. Hopefully, I well, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll keep Iowa. us updated. Mr. Trump does like Iowa, though, and he likes to Yeah, be that's a... why he's putting tariffs on all the uh, the exports. Oh, so they're, I'm sure that's really hurt, uh, helping oh, everyone. Yeah. Um, all right, so Gene Moore, Wisconsin news. Oh, wow. I got more of this. See, I told you. According... Hey, there's a lot of serial killers and kidnappers from Wisconsin. <laughs> Well, Gene, let's uh, let's let's look at per capita, okay? Let's let's Ed not. Ed Gene, you have two of the most right, famous. One of from all the fifties and one from the eighties. All Ed right, Gene, when... who used to be, he lived on a farm and he, he he'd milk the cows in the morning and then eat people in the afternoon. <laughs> he was he was right, Gene, him and Jeffrey. Dahmer. Lots of uh, babies getting being di- <laughs> being killed in Iowa. How we do don't have to go have through all Ed that. Ed Gene and Jeffrey Dahmer, those are that's hard to compete with. You guys are pretty high up. There. Hey, overachievers. Uh, <laughs> low are. population overachievers, Gene. Yeah. Look at the Green Bay yeah. Packers and uh, Milwaukee Brewers. But speaking of what the Packers, oh, according okay. to Rich Ryman of the Green Bay Press Gazette, the Raiders and Packers appear likely to move their preseason game to Winnipeg. Wow. Oh, yeah, I did see. Because yeah. uh, Oakland doesn't want the Raiders to play there anymore because they're yeah. salty over the loss. But they're going to still play the regular season games there, I guess. Are they? Yeah, the one last the one or year, two, or they, they got to figure it out. No, yeah, they they said goodbye. They did a big production saying goodbye to them, 
And now they got to go back. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, gee, Winnipeg, Winnipeg in August, Gene. <laughs> yeah. Still, still warmer, still warmer than uh, Green Bay. Oh right. right. Yeah. yeah. Still, is that the right phrase? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I mean, I mean warmer I'm than a, Green Bay. In August. I'm going to see the Packers, I believe, three times. That's not even including L.A. If if ticket prices can, I doubt they'll right. drop that much. But. All right, so uh, the Packers, of course, the NBA, NFL draft was a uh, couple of weeks ago, two yeah. or three weeks ago, and they picked up a uh, linebacker, uh, Rashawn or something like that. Or oh, R- that's Rashan? I know what you're going to say. Who, by the way, has a busted shoulder. Oh boy, uh, and probably going to need surgery. So uh, that's good. You always want your first draft pick to uh, require surgery. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's an intangible right, right there. Right. Intangible. Uh, well, guess what, Gene? They're giving him uh, number <laughs> yeah. fifty-two. No respect. Wow. So they're giving a, a guy with a bum shoulder who hasn't proven anything. Uh, number fifty-two, which of course was uh, Clay, Clay Matthews. Matthews' old number. And do you think uh, they're just trying to stick it to Clay? And he tweeted out, "The body's not even cold yet." Right. Oh, Lol. He did? he did. Yep. Wow. He's gonna be in the. He's got to be. Well, he'll. Well, maybe not. Packers are so famous, but I think he'd be almost. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised of, that Packers yeah, you, Hall of Fame. Would you not retire the Clay Matthews yeah, as a Packer? I think he would be. That's he'd not. be pretty close. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Clay. Uh oh. Sp- bodies. Bodies not even cold yet. Speaking about bodies. Uh, yeah. Weird you mentioned bodies because you were DOA <laughs> for the past five years, buddy. Oh. Speaking wow. of bodies. All right, I'm, I'm kind of stepping on my jokes here a little bit, Jim. Uh, no, go ahead. Up. Give it some more Let's Clay. Pronouncing. Let Clay hear it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh. Clay. Yeah. Clay, you were DOA for the past five years. No one claimed your body. All right. All right. There you go. Is that yeah, that's a little the Clay better. Matthews? All right. There you go. That's uh, the Wisconsin story. Wow. Okay. Hope everyone uh, enjoy that. And uh, Gene, we're gonna move south uh, to Chicago, which is only eighty miles from Milwaukee. Eighty eighty miles and uh, five seventy in tolls. Yeah, five dollars yeah. and seventy cents in tolls. Oh, it's uh, to Rockford, which is sixty miles. Going the other direction, it's six dollars in tolls every time. Three tolls. Jeez. Three one fifty one fifty. No, maybe two, three. I don't know. It's do you think, at least do you think people dollars. turn down jobs because they uh, they don't want to pay tolls? They don't want to go through the tolls? I, I'm I sure mean, that that's, is, right? That's that's tough when you, you got to factor that in. Yeah, of course. It's not like there's a train from Rockford to uh, Chicago, right? Yeah. I mean, where you can take. Is there? I don't know. I, is uh, there an L train? No, no, no. How the hell are you supposed to you gotta drive? You're forcing people to pay money? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Gene in Chicago. Let's start with some good news. All right, the Cubs. Are uh, good. Starting off with the uh, the Chicago Cubs. They basically I, uh, won. Uh, was that a home run? Oh no. Okay. They basically uh, they what? They won eighty in a row. No, they've won like seven that? straight. Seven now. in a row. Yep. Okay, including they won four four on the road, and then they just swept the Cardinals. Thrilling series. Saturday, they walked they walked a guy to load the bases to face their uh, catcher, their backup catcher, and he hit a grand slam. Uh, yeah. What the Cardinals did or the Cubs? The did? Cardinals walked uh, the guy who they walked. They walked. Um, this uh, is last night though, wasn't it? Or was no, it? last night they won thirteen to five. Okay. Yeah, Saturday. But the only problem is, is you, Darvish, is still wow. I don't know Not what's good. going on with that guy. Well, uh, maybe you don't Tough need one. maybe you don't need you, but uh, Kyle Hendricks is uh, having he, quite I a couple. I watched that game. He he had eighty one pitches for That's a complete awesome. game. And and the game That's ends less than ten in two per hours. Inning. Oh, I know it's fantastic. Yep. So that is the fewest in the Cubs shutout since John Lieber, seventy eight in two thousand one. That's uh, that's quite a number as well. Yeah, that's amazing. So uh, yeah, that's amazing. that's quite an accomplishment. And it and the game's not four hours. Oh, it's all good. Great, fantastic. Good job, Kyle. Why can't they all? Why can't they all do that? I know. Let's move along, baseball. All right. So and then we got places to be. We we're. Things to do, and while we're talking about the uh, the Cardinals, uh, yeah. Rias, who is a uh, kind of a prospect pitcher, oh. who was I believe sent down to AAA to uh, work on his uh, I don't know slider, yeah, or something on one of these pitches, is uh, I don't know. Uh, well, he uh, was very upset, and he uh, punched a wall and oh. uh, broke his pinky finger. Ooh, mm, that's smart. But Gene, uh, the good news is that the fracture is the Cardinal way. Oh, <laughs> the fracture is the yeah. he did it in a cardinal yeah. way. That's what they they always have the cardinal way. Yep. Yeah, they they put up the stat last night. The Cardinals have won nineteen pennants. The Cubs have won seventeen. Some it's something like that. 
And I'm thinking, wow, that's pretty close. But the Cardinals have won 11 World Series. What? Yeah, what? The, the, so the Cubs are, Cubs are three for 17. So you got to finish. Yeah. Well, all right, Jane, I, uh, I sweetened up uh, the new stories up in the beginning. I, I front-loaded oh, it. I, I know. Now we're about to uh, get into the dregs. Yeah. Um, and we're going to start with Addison Russell. Oh, yeah. Stay down there. Oh, he's not down there. He's in Iowa. He's he's, in, uh, he's currently, what, in AAA right yeah, now? Yeah, he's in Des Moines. He's getting ready? Yeah. Well, uh, there's a PR effort oh. to uh, rehabilitate his image. Oh. And uh, But don't write about anything negative about him because uh, you'll be— That uh, is propaganda. You'll be reprimanded. Oh, don't. I'm— All right. From the ownership. You're, uh, that's propaganda. Uh, one of the uh, reporters uh, on the beat, Cheryl Ring, said, so the Cubs are making a concerted effort to control the narrative yeah. with regards to Russell, uh, Addison Russell. They're approving positive redemption stories and in private going after the, those commentators who are critical of Russell and the Cubs' approach. I spoke to one uh, media member who told me that they were privately instructed by the Cubs to lay off Russell mm. and threaten with reprisal if they didn't. There's no reprisal. That didn't come from Theo. That did not. Well, that's, it, it didn't take long. That's before, jealousy. That's jealousy. It didn't take long before one of the, uh, what, what's the owner group? What, what's the family's name? Ameritrade. Uh, the Ricketts family. The Ricketts. One of the Ricketts, or maybe it was uh, the CEO or something like that. One of yeah. the Ricketts uh, inner family members or something like that got on the radio. Oh. And uh, said it was absolutely not true, and threatened the reporter <laughs> for yeah, reporting. Yeah, that was that was uh, someone high up. It wasn't. It wasn't. A, yeah, that was someone high up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they basically uh, confirmed the story on air live. No, no they didn't. I don't, I don't. don't. The Cubs wouldn't do stuff like that. Oh, no. You're free to speak your mind. No, they would only uh, rehire a, uh, a guy who right. beat the hey, shit out of his hey, uh, girlfriend. The, uh, Addison Next Russell. Week. Addison Russell could be on the Cubs right now. They said you're not done yet, sir. So they kept him in Iowa. Like your your OPS is not high enough. Get back to work. Yeah. Yeah. He might. We we, and, we want you, but your OPS way, has to be better. You're no longer our shortstop, Addison. That belongs to Mr. Javi Baez. Javier Baez. He's a, he's not giving up his shortstop anymore. Nope. Well, is he going to play second base? Or? I don't. We'll see. Who, who's it playing second base? It. Boti. Yeah, yeah. Today. Boti's yeah. not playing very well, is he? Right. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh, I thought I thought he had a breakout year, and then he wasn't doing that great this no, year. Am he, I wrong? He's good. Okay. Yeah, and then Zobers plays sometimes and. All right, well, speaking of erroneous Chicago contracts, Mm. uh, Gene, you said you weren't a big Bulls fan. Well, maybe this will uh, turn the tide. Oh, that guy, Jim Boylan. They extended the uh, contract. That's why I don't like the Bulls right now. Of the the Bulls head coach, who basically had a mutiny of his players last year because uh, he was working them like dogs. Uh, That's right. They're professional athletes. Well, uh, treat them with some respect. Yeah, you work, um, you know, you work Monday, uh, Wednesday, Friday. You <laughs> better <laughs> damn well practice uh, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday for oh, two and a half hours. I don't understand. They need their rest. Yeah, well, uh, not not a big uh, fan from the the players, uh, but apparently uh, over time, uh, players actually kind of got to re- respect him. So maybe uh, maybe he let I up know. a little bit. I mean, I'm I don't think the uh, the Bulls. They, I, I'm not. I don't. Do you think Phil Jackson uh, took any phone calls or anything like that, or do you think he? I I think he. he, They're leaving him alone. Phil Jackson's in the Bahamas. I'm just glad I'm a Milwaukee Bucks fan, so you don't have to deal with this. Yep. Well, speaking of Milwaukee Bucks, that coach kind of sucks, doesn't he? Is that what I'm hearing? I, I don't know. They're so critical. Bill Simmons says so. Then is Phil Jackson the best coach of all time? No. (laughs) All right. Who else? Well, I mean, I mean, what you gotta say, Larry Brown, well, right? But he, he no, never stayed around. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Red Papa, Auerbach. I'll go, yeah, Popovich. Hey, oh, Popovich. There well, you go. Yeah, but the thing is, Phil Jackson never had to develop a team. Yeah, he, he always had like the best players. Yeah, the and Michael Jackson was in his prime when Jordan? Phil took over. So, so or Michael Jordan. So, what am I saying, Michael Jackson? So, Ooh. so Phil Jackson wasn't there like in '84, like when he no. first got there. No, he Doug Collins. Doug. So the uh, Michael Jordan was in the playoffs a few times, and then Phil Jackson stepped in, and then they start winning. Yeah, but by that time they had Scottie Pippen. And, yeah. yeah, and then he had Kobe and Shaq. Come on, no, mm, no right, well, not impressed. Yeah. How about Giannis? Giannis, Giannis is already established, Giannis right? Is awesome. All right, and Gene, we're going to move over to the Chicago Bears. Oh, 
Oh my god. No Chicago property is safe uh, on this show. Wow. They're, they've made a mess uh, of. Uh... According to Brad Britt Biggs of the Chicago Tribune, Bears coach Matt Nagy had each of the Bears' eight kickers. Eight yeah. kickers. Holy shit. That's amazing, Ned. Try yeah. a 43 year old field goal in front of the team at the end yeah. of today's mini right, camp right, practice. So, of right. course, that was the uh, field goal that, uh, well, what's his Cody face? Parker. Yeah, missed. Yeah. And you do it all in front of the field, and this is basically like an addition for your job? A lot, a lot of pressure. <laughs> I mean, not as much pressure as uh, 70,000 right. fans screaming uh, it's yeah. a playoff game, a yeah. must-win playoff if game. You, if, you lose, if you miss it, you, the, 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 your season's over. That's yep. pressure. Yep. Uh, well, Gene, eight. Eight of them tried. Two of them made it. Yeah, that's not good. So there you go. And 43 yards, that's that's barely an extra point. Well, <laughs> Uh, it's like 20, because of what? Uh, extra point is 25 Th- yards, 35. right? Isn't it 25? No, 35. 30, well, 35 with the end zone, though, right? Yeah. Am I correct? Okay, so 43. Don't you add another? Okay, all right. No, never. no, no, no. It is a 43-yard okay. field goal. So they were on the, uh, well, yeah, you guys had uh, 17 yards. They were on the 26-yard line, and then it was a 43 All right, well, Gene, it's easy for us to uh, criticize. It's but, not. Uh, it's, but we hey, deserve hey, to. Co- Coach Nagy? Oh, this well, is for what's, you. what's your maximum distance, huh? How will we see that? Oh, all right, he's the coach. And by the way, do they do they eight, eight kickers? Did they fly these guys in on helicopters, or do they have know. police escorts? I mean, yeah. what what was going on up in Lake Forest? I I went to Bears headquarters last year. It's pretty cool. It's a huge thing. It's out in the suburbs, but they, they don't let you in there. Uh, Gene, if if you're what 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 if you were uh, asked to come in as a uh, Chicago Bears kicker, I and you had to pay like twelve dollars in tolls right. to get to the stadium. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you You'd be like holy shit. Lake, when you go up to Lake Forest, it's about twenty miles north of Chicago. And yeah, you have to stop and pay tolls. By the way, I did kick a field goal in the Coliseum, most famous stadium of them all. When we we did a football spot for Snickers, and uh, I kicked a field goal. It wasn't part of the commercial. We we're just messing around. Did you make it? Yeah. How, how many? <laughs> three yards? No. From from the two point line? Twenty yards. How many times I mean, did you try? A bunch, <laughs> but I'm not a kicker. So the ball's on the three, and then it goes to the ten. So like an extra point. Oh, I think God. I made one. But I, yeah, yep. that's pretty good. All right. Well, uh, Gene, we uh, we're gonna shift back to the Cubs really quick. Here's a uh, an interesting story that I uh, that's been reported. Mm-hmm. Chicago Cubs home games con- coincide with the biggest increase. In the raw number of emergencies of any city slash sport combination. Oh, so the way they uh, they 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 measured this by amount of like nine one one calls and like police oh, chatter okay. like during and after right. a game in an immediate vicinity. The area around Wrigley Field is a hotbed of drinking, debauchery, okay. and public urination. There you go. And if we zoom, Gene, you know how they, they screw you over with tolls? Yeah. I think Wrigleyville, they screw you over with uh, with bathrooms. Yeah. They're, they're trying to generate revenue by uh, getting uh, public uh, urination tickets. I there think that's, that's it's just another toll. And, you know, right over the left field wall. Oh, wait, can, can, you, can you pay to take a piss at I, those tolls? I'll pay an extra 70 I cents. Think, I don't know what the people in the toll booth do. That's a great point because they're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I always talk to Well, them. And, and if it's wintertime, they just pee themselves like scuba divers, right? Yeah. And you know how cold up? it is in those tobos? Yeah, with the I wind. I mean, they're tiny. They might have a little portable. With the wind? Heat. Yeah, with those uh, oh. high, big-ass highways, there's nothing to stop the wind. And it's so hot. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jim. Okay. What, what were you going to say? Oh, I said right, right over the left field wall is a fire station yeah. on Wave, or, um, yeah, Waveline. Yeah, the Chicago. So they probably do deal with a lot of people just. Falling over. And if uh, if you zoom in on a map of Chicago's extra 911 calls, it's clear that many of the additional emergencies are in the area around Wrigley. So people get messed up and start walking around the city. That's why if you live in Wrigleyville, good luck. I mean, that's a young person's game. Yep. Uh, it's a mess. Uh, well, you, But you know who was uh, a good example? Who? Uh, on the lesser side of the scale, the Blackhawks, Chicago Blackhawks. Oh. Maybe that's because people don't care about hockey. Yeah, no, uh, that's very possible. Do, but they're not. In, they're they're uh, kind of isolated. They're in downtown. Pull down emergency calls by more than 100 per day it could be due to increased security around a stadium located in sometimes dangerous area, or perhaps pulling in all those unruly hockey fans off the streets to give them fewer opportunities to commit crimes. So it's basically uh, there you go. all the criminals are inside watching the game. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yep. And uh, Gene, you know we're near nowhere near this mm. was uh, Green Bay. Oh. And the reason being is that uh, 911 is turned off during uh, Packer games. So it that's, is? that's why. Yeah, you can't call 911. It's broken. Oh, uh, they I don't, see. No one answers. All right. So. There you go. Yep. You have to call a Schwabadon. Yeah, a Schwab, Yeah, it's going to take them like 40 right across minutes. across the street. Yeah. Well, except for the domestic abuse line. That's o- <laughs> that's open. For yeah. some reason. But that's only, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's there. They have to do it, right? Right. Yeah. They have to do it. All right, there you go, Gene. So that is the uh, the story of Chicago for the week. A lot of, a lot of Chicago stories, huh? Mm-hmm. What's going on? All right, then, Gene, we're going to shift over to the Kentucky Derby. Which, which I did watch. Which happened on Saturday. I do watch this stuff. I do watch the uh, the yeah. horse races just because it is kind of Pretty exciting. Cool. You know, you it don't know what's going on. It miserable being there, though, wasn't it? Well, it, so uh, it was very rainy. Yeah. And I actually cannot believe they actually raced in those conditions. They race all the time. Yeah, uh, they, pretty crazy. Um, and also, Gene, I don't know if you were looking at the uh, the track or the field or yeah. whatever they call this thing. It was just <laughs> the see. Infield? I thought I thought yeah, the infield. I thought they were going to like plow. I thought they plowed up the dirt. Oh, okay. So that it wasn't like just these puddles and just these right, flat right. like uh, mud and all that stuff. But no. So these ra- these horses are racing on this freaking mud pile. It was. It was very muddy. With, with footprints and tracks, yeah. like tractor tracks, like all over the place. Like, I <laughs> I can't believe, like, a horse actually did not. And then they, because no race on. has this many horses. This one originally had 20, but when they raced, it was 19. That's a lot of horses on one muddy track. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I was just uh, basically waiting for uh, a huge uh, collision. Yeah, we, uh, yes. happened. Yeah. And just the other one tumble. Well, thank God nothing happened. Because no, right. no, you don't want to see these horses. No, that's at San Anita where all those horses died this year, unfortunately. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they should pump in some fake rain over there, yeah. over here, over yeah. at Santa Anita. Um, and then, but I guess uh, there was a disqual. I don't want to say guess, but there was oh, a disqualification. My gosh. And they, they didn't know. Because you, when you see the race, you think, oh, nothing really happened. And the guy, that, that guy, that horse dominated the race. And then, yeah. Well, Gene, I'm not I'm not big on horses, and I don't know right. anything about I don't horse know racing a lot either. Uh, okay. But apparently, you can't <laughs> you can't kind of move into someone's way when yeah. you're when you're racing, right? Uh, I mean, I guess if you're just behind, and you, I mean, so you just got to grab that inner track, yeah, right? He I mean, was inside, and he moved a little bit, and he. But, but, how yeah, how right. do they determine the horse that's on the inner like track? You know what I mean? You know, there's right. like uh, there's you know there's 19 uh, spots. Yeah. Who who gets that inner side? And they the, draw when, numbers. And then they when do. do you know that? Do you know yeah. that like right away? I mean, can yeah, you bet they on do. that? They beca- oh, yeah. When you're outside, when you're way outside, I, it's very hard to win because you got to come all the way in. Yes, they draw numbers on Thursday, oh, okay. I think, or whenever So it's well, it's well established by that. Yeah, but your your number where you get picked is huge. That's a, Yeah, that's yeah, a I wonder big, what the correlation is. Oh, it's it's you. When coming from the outside is really really tough, really tough. Well, I guess the the, the point is that when racing. when you when you start the race, everyone is going down a straight line. Yeah. So supposedly the fastest horse is going to be the first one to the inside, yeah. but you still have to, you know, make that Pagariga pe- pe- uh, pe- theorem. Wow. Pagariga pe- theorem. Is that your a-, a squared Wisconsin Milwaukee A squared Panther plus B education? squared equals C squared. Okay. Um, and yeah, so, uh, I don't even know this horse's names. Who cares? So one, the one lost and the other one, uh, won the race. But they place. not only lost, they pushed him to 17. So he's totally out of the money. They didn't push him down to place one place show. No, they put him all the way at the bottom. Yeah. Not good. Not good. And, uh, Donald Trump, president Donald Trump was not a fan. He, uh, he decided to weigh in. Yeah. Uh, you know, nothing's we, too careers- minor for our Dear President, K- Koreans are shooting missiles into the uh, the, the Korean <laughs> Sea, but this guy has to uh, comment on uh, disqualification. Yeah. And uh, I don't know was the uh, was the horse making like racist jokes be- before the uh, show or before the program? Yeah, or something because he said it was a PC culture. Oh, P- politically I, correct. I, I, I mean, know. was the jockey uh, right. like white right. or something like that? So they're doing it was uh, what do you call it affirmative action? Yeah. It was like a darker jockey, so that's why they got the win. I, I don't know what his logic is on that. Yeah. And also, Gene, one more note here on the Kentucky Derby. A lot of uh, gambling apps ads wow. before the, sh- the the program. It was huge. Before the race. Right. 
So, like, only last year where they actually legalized gambling. And then uh, not a short time later, everyone's, like, saying, yeah, download this app and gamble. Go ahead and gamble. If you don't know shit about uh, horses, go ahead and gamble. It's uh, pretty easy. I wonder what the, the DQ odds were on that. How does that affect the uh, the gambling, it by the way? It was huge. It was huge. It swung that by millions and millions of dollars because most people didn't bet on the horse that won because it was such a long shot. He was the longest shot. It was 65 to 1. No, was he a long shot? Yeah, yeah, the longest shot to ever win the Derby, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, it, huge implications. Yeah, terrible. Wow. Yeah, it swung well, it swung the world upside down, and it was weird because it was it seemed so minor when he moved a little bit, but wow, I I don't know, I'm shocked. I'm sh- well, yeah, don't try to win, Gene. I, right. I guess that's the answer. And don't try to win. They've never done that before ever, and they've been racing for since the uh, 1800s, yeah. 125 I'm not, I'm not sure. years, 135 oh, years. Okay, yeah. So, but Gene, let me ask you this: like, uh, you know, like racing, uh, like human beings, human beings racing, like yeah. track and field, yeah. I mean, you can, like, step in front of people, right, and kind of push yeah. them away or something like that, or no? Can't do yeah. that? Yeah, once you're – once you cross – you have to stay in your lane for a low time and then when it's staggered, I think. Uh, you and you can, st- you can, like, dra- yeah, draft people, right? Yeah, then you to – yes, yeah. Yeah, you can't trip somebody on the track. I guess. I mean, maybe maybe we have to put a bullet in Usain Bolt's head if he uh, <laughs> tripped. Maybe that's the problem here. I don't know. That's very good. Right. Problem, yeah. I don't know. That that's tough though. That was a tough thing to overturn. Wow, I don't know. Very. Mm. They got balls. They got balls. That's that. to over. Wow. Or maybe they, maybe the gel. I mean, it wasn't that, that obvious where. I I guess she. I don't know. It just seems really hard. You you would overturn it on that one. Well, I think actually when you do see a replay, you can kind of see the horse because yeah, it yeah. was kind of dangerous there for sure. a second. Yeah. So they're they're trying to like you know maintain he safety. Bumped wasn't the horse that won. The other yeah, but it's sort of like yeah, a chain know, reaction, yeah, I right? I guess. So. Okay, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Good, good, good job, you guys. How about this? Sure How about this? How about we don't even do it? How about we stop these races? I know there's a lot of money and all that stuff, but uh, I don't think these horses want to race. Oh, okay. Let's just do that. I mean, I, I know I realize horses want to run. They just right. like running and all that stuff. But uh, do they really want to be pumped up with HGH mm. and uh, like slap the shit out of? Yeah. All right. Good point. Yeah, I'm with you now. All these jockeys whipping yeah. the shit out of these horses to go faster? Yeah. Okay. What, is that going to help them go another well, uh, five the miles per hour? Really want? I think the horse that won was probably feeling pretty good. His stud fees look out. Yeah. They just took a dive. And so he's thinking, oh, thanks. Now I'm going to be well, on the back back pasture. I'll tell you what, all these jockeys, these, all these jockeys must be uh, perverts. They must uh, have sexual fantasies about what? the horses riding them and oh, slapping their ass with a whip. I, that that might have gone over the line, even for you. That might have been disqualification right but there. I can't see the horse at one getting stub feeds because he wasn't that great in a race. He would finish second, of course. Well, but Gene, I, I think if you're a horse in uh, the Kentucky Derby, I think you can get stud fees no matter. Because, I mean, yeah, what, there's 20 horses per win, year? If you're, if you're a big time, oh, you make a lot. But yeah. not a long shot. Well, whatever. Yeah. Well, if he wins the uh, Preakness, uh, who knows? But the one horse that got disqualified there, he said he's not going to be yeah. the Preakness, right? Yeah. He's no. out. Out. Horse. horse racing. Jesus Christ. How, by the way, uh, <laughs> how many of those horses are going to be killed uh, by, by the Preakness in the next three they weeks? still do that? Uh, well, not after glue. Just uh, uh, on accident. Oh, I see. By accident. Yeah. Yeah, that's happening. It's been a rough year. I don't know. I, I don't. I'm. Yeah, I w- if I could talk to the horse and say, hey, how do you feel about this whole thing? If they say, we don't like it, then I'll say, okay, that's enough. Let's shut it down. We're done here. Yep. Right? Yep. Think of the horses, huh? What if... What Everyone, if Everyone's all upset about these lions getting killed in Africa. How, how about the horses here yeah. in America? What about Trump riding a horse? Mr. Trump. Uh, he That <laughs> would be... Yeah, I don't know. That wouldn't be healthy for the horse. Yeah. Very, 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 I've, I've only been on... I've been on a horse once in my life, and that was for one of our Fruit Loom commercials. Uh, it was pretty cool. But I had a I had a Wrangler, this girl, and she rode the horse part of the time, and then on the close up, then I got on top of it. But it was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not. I don't, I don't trust horses. I'm, I'm sure they're yeah. wonderful animals, but uh, they're big, powerful animals, and they they freak out. Have you ever had one eat out of your, an apple or something when you give no, it to but them? I, you my, gotta watch it. My know? mom, my, a horse bit my mom in the face yeah, one time when she was like good. a kid or something oh, like that's that. Oh, so. dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, pretty nice. Mm. All right. 
so, well, Gene, that's, uh, that's the story of Wisconsin and Chicago this yeah, week. Uh, yeah. Two peas in a pod. Iowa does nothing wrong, so good now, job, any, Iowa. Any uh, Iowa sports stories? No, no, Iowa is... Shut down? Yeah, Iowa... Oh, a lot of flooding. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, that uh, that part's not good. So hopefully, because uh, we have a house in, yeah, in the floodplain, but... Uh, Hopefully, you all. open your uh, up to date on your flood insurance. They stop. I I'm the one that I pay a lot of insurance in that place, and they they don't off. They took away the flood insurance, <laughs> and we're in a floodplain. So that means that you get all that money back, right? That's how it works. N- they, no, absolutely not. You know what? They because they had to pay out so much. They said, "Hey, guess what? We're not going to pay. Uh, you you we're not going to offer you flood insurance." Anymore? Why? Because we had to. You had to pay. Because we lost money on it. <laughs> yeah. So because uh, wait, no, wait, great compassion. Yeah. There. It was all. It was all good when you suckers were paying us money yeah, and uh, we didn't have to pay out. California. Okay. No more fire insurance. Yeah. If you're in a or fire or zone. earthquake. Is there earthquake insurance? I'm sure uh, there's not. That's got to be really expensive. Yeah, I'm sure there's not any. Yeah. I don't know what it is. All right. Well, Jim. Okay. We uh, Happy if any Mother's if Day. any insurance Mom. salesmen uh, are oh. around, we can have them on the show and uh, educate us and uh, give Gene a uh, nice offer as well. Oh, that's He's okay. Just Mississippi River, we love you. Just stay out of people's homes. We don't want you in there. So they say, oh, the basements. Yeah, that's. But luckily, we do have a basement. Oh, and I have a water pump, uh, too, which that costs a lot of money. Ooh, oh well. <laughs> part of being part of the, the homeowner. Per- Oh, and then I have to pay the yeah the state the house taxes. Oh well, whatever. Property taxes. Yep. I give it. Okay, that's All right. good enough. Well, uh, let's. Uh, that's another show. That's another Thank podcast. You. So, all right. So, uh, well, uh, I think that should be it. Um, I think I'm gonna get the music going here. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, so, so good. Go box. So uh, that's been the Midwest Sports Show. So for Gene Stacken, my name is Chris Stats. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys Bye. next Have week. Have a great week. Love you. That was fantastic.